Yo, Wrench. Yo, M. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, truly. Dead sec. Now, if they want to go up against us, I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. That's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one... See? Little problem. What? Here. Hold this. Stand back. Great. Chip! It's a little... Hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the careful sky to force obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us. You've got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? Okay, I'm at Holmes Distribution Center. Great. Okay, uh, so take a look around for a computer, one of those old crap box ones. Now, Holmes stores their schedules based on number plate destination combinations, like some kind of barely literate moron. If that moron was, you know, a company. <laughs> Good to know. I'll see what I can find. Marcus, the followers just keep on coming. <laughs> That's gonna get a reaction from Bloom. I can't believe people let them grab so much power. All that sci-fi shit we read as kids, Big Brother, Thought Control, Pre-Crime, it's all here now, isn't it? Thanks to Bloom and their CTOS. Those authors saw it coming decades ago, but nobody listened. Everybody's too sold on pleasant corporate platitudes and flawless branding to realize the whole damn thing's a societal Trojan. It doesn't help that CTOS actually does what they say it does either. We're opposing a system that helps people on the surface, but exploits them behind the scenes. Makes it easy to paint us as the bad guys. Question for you. How much access does DedSec have to CTOS? In other cities, when it was still CTOS 1.0, we had a lot. Sucks because we were too careless. 
missed our window to do something big. In 2.0, we're the first group to go up against it. So we're still playing catch up. They were expecting us this time. <laughs> the thought of dead sec written on a whiteboard in some bloom office makes me all squishy inside. We keep it up. Next time, maybe they'll use the red marker. Where are you? Got it. I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. the contractor. an honest mistake. Take it easy. I found the truck. Great. And what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend. Ah! 
Shut it off! Off! Ha! We don't go easy on you. <laughs> Tell me I got something good. Nope. Crash. Crash. Oh. Ho, ho. <sighs> well, you got the goods. Is it actually good? It might be evil. I don't know. This is home we're talking about. <clears throat> All right, well, I will get this little fucker prepped while you go get us some caffeine. Uh, wait, you want me to get you two coffee? No, he's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. <laughs> He'll take a decaf. Hey dude, where you at? We could use a hand at the hackerspace. These home toys are 2.0 for a reason. <laughs> 